Good morning. Today's video is about a product that I've kept my eye on ever since I saw a, I think it was a tweet on X about a product that was developing a cinematic image creation product predominantly designed for film. So that piqued my interest and ever since I've been watching the product, it's kind of got bigger and bigger now and some very, very exciting things have been put in the product. But I always like the idea of a model trained on cinematic films. So all the shots that you'll see in the product will be amazing because the outset of when it, where it started, it was always designed to create cinematic, cinematic images and they are truly breathtaking. So let me show you Let's.ai right now. Let's have a look. Let's.ai. As I said, I've had my eye on this product. It's the, the mid journey I've been waiting for. You can do so much in mid journey. But see, a lot of these very t niche products doing so well. And I really hope this one does well because I've loved it from version one. I haven't shared much about it, but now we're going to go through it and I'll show you how great it is. Think and just show you, and then we can have a play afterwards. So this is version three. It's part because of a few things, and I'll show you those things as we go through. So what does it actually do? It's a model trained on cinematic images. Doesn't do video, but you can take that and put it in runway or Luma or wherever. Cinematic images. So people who love film, who want to create film-like images, all different cartoons and everything else that create stunning cinematic images. So what is what is version three? Improved photorealism, definitely got that. Smarter text, advanced model combinations. This is paramount. Paramount film, but it is paramount. The, the performance, the performance is always something stunning. Talk about the advanced model combinations. This a game changer. I hate to use that word, but it is. So what you can do is create models. So the reason that they have so amazing um, is you can create models. So what they did early on was said, okay, we're going to create SREF in Journey, but it's all on cinematic stuff. So we're going to take a model, we're going to train that model on a cinematic kind of view and feel, and then people can share it and use it very easily because you just put an at sign and then that model. So first we've got models. Secondly, products. You can create a model, share some Im images of that product and create a product like the Ray-Ban that we're looking at right here. And then thirdly, then you a person in there. So it can be an influencer created from nothing or it can be yourself or someone famous, for example. Imagine one of the top models doing an ad without actually being there. Mad as well. So those three things are those three, those three amazing things together, you know, and then create a video from it. Mad. So we've got a style model here. Then we've got a product, the Ray-Ban, for an example, was in that one. This one has got three. So we've got a styling, we've got the person, and then the hat, which is a product which has been fed into the system. This is massive, massive. Again, and worn by, and then this is a star as well. It's perfect. It's, and this is a very good example. So she's not real, but she's an influencer created for a movie, a shot, ad, whatever it is. So now, hopefully, you're as excited as I am by what this can do. But the the thing this is 
every one of these images, I just look at this and think that is a story. Right there is a story. You know, these are waiting to be told. Super little smoke's always um, breathtaking. I love it. I love it. And I once you have a go, you're this image. Now I thought, okay, I love the image. I love the way the the colours are or moved over or whatever whatever way you, you explain it, but the greens at the front, the reds at the back, and I thought, could runway actually do and could it actually generate I'm just gonna say generate a decent and the answer is yes it can. So I'm just gonna to go to runway animate that while we're talking that runway is images it loves these images and knows what to do with them i'm not going to give it a prompt i'm just going to press the let's go to do it'll generate it while i'm terrible connection here that's why it's taken ages to to generate and why i talk more about let's.ai to give you a little bit more in depth about it and play the prices are very good it's ten dollars to start again i think it's 10 euros here but ten dollars another way of looking at models so we can have a look at all the models oh, breathtaking all of them are just you just want to do something just want to leave me to Let's try one of these. What should we do? Food's always a good one, isn't it? Should we start with this one? Simple, but I just love the simplicity sometimes. It's weird how you see something like this. All right, I'm going to go to this. This is how it's so and cinematic. With your sometimes it's too convoluted, too clever. Oh, so, so much to oh, so with. Right, let's do this one then. So, Veen the person that created uh, is the model. That's the creator. Which if you create a model, will be under there as well. Eight hundred and twenty Im images is public, and it's a style. Okay, so we're going to use. I'm just going to make sure I'm in version three. That little drop down will will give you the image size, so phone, square, landscape. I like where they call it phone. It's clever to just do that, which you can obviously amend. Quality, creativity, um, number of images. Okay, so I can a prompt. Messed it up, yes I have. Lost my, I'm just gonna go back and give you something. And then uh, in New York, simple. And then what you can do is, Click that button. Really, a cinematic prompt to generate. It's so cool. And I'm going to how fast it generates. It's not connection here, which is not great in this room. But yeah, for me, creator, I've been waiting for lots. And it is one of my loves. The sci you just lose yourself in all the sci-fi images. It's epic, epic. Okay, so look, I'm, I've been on for a minute there, and already it's got something and some terrific. So yeah, I love the way it shows. You. Probably half done now. A couple of minutes. I wouldn't say it's as fast as mid-journey turbo or nitro, whatever it's called, but it's a no, we can go back to should we go back to the runway just show you what it's done we're waiting for that one i just didn't like it wow doing some weird stuff there we'll do another one on there <laughs> the last course great wrong but in the last one it really understood what it was i love it it's the best This is going to be my favourite product. Love it. Okay, so you can publish it. Uh, you can use a link to the image and everything else. But yeah, there's...
really you're gonna find something you know what is this you know kind of movies there's anything look look it's just my brain's already going off into a story for it gotta do it okay so that is that let's just show you how to do um your model or you can do it yourself so you just click on that type in your model name a person an object or a style and you can share it with everyone or just yourself and right now while they're in beta you can create these for free person man woman you can do yourself of course if you want to do some crazy stuff um now i've just messed it up but Oh, um, tells me it's wrong. Object, so you can object, building, food, drink, product, and then train on the images. Let's just show you what it does on product. Call the product a fish. Five to fifteen images. You can upload them, and it will train on that product or style and trained on the images. So let's one way to have some closure on me saying it was great runways not just because i said it but the one before i love it when a demo goes wrong but there we go that is my favorite favorite now for creating images it makes me even think about shall i dare say it cancelling mid journey and doing this but i love it and i'm so pleased that they took their on creating it properly. It is right and it creates amazing images. So that is let's.ai. Uh, share, like, thank you ever so much for watching this one. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, I'd love to see you on the next one. See you then. Thanks a lot.